What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how I produce the remake of Good Ones by Charlie XCX. I will also leave a link in the description for you to download this project. So the BPM for the project is 129. So this beat is mainly built around this bass line. So as you can see I have two layers for that. The first one is made in Serum. So these are the settings, these are the effects inside the Serum. And then we have these plugins here. We have Kickstart, Channel EQ. As you can see we have another Kickstart and it's turned off and it's because I'm using this only for automation and it's turning on in this part of the beat. The same goes for the single EQ. It's also mainly used for automation. Then we have this direction mixer just to narrow the bass. It was sounding a little bit too wide. So here in the bus one, we have pedal board with this grid plugin. And then we have this rotor cabinet drums motion preset. And the reason why I use the bus for this one is I just wanted this effect to be subtle. That's why I use this bus one. Second uh, layer for this bass is Alchemy's preset called street dance thick octave settings. In the effects I have EQ, saturation plugin, soft tube. So this is free plugin. If you don't have it, you can get it online somewhere. Just Google it. Kickstart, bass amp, and just a gain plugin. So now we're moving to verse section. Here, bass line stays the same. Here we introduce some drums. <laughs> So for the crash, I used the scientific method kit. Then we have this reversed crash. Then we have kick. So these are the EQ settings for kick. I also used enveloper because I felt like the attack was a little bit too sharp. So I used this time knob. For the snare, I used EQ, cut the lows out. And I also used enveloper because attack was too sharp. So now we're moving to pre-chorus. <laughs> So here in the pre-chorus we have these chords that I made with Serum. Then we have bass pad. These are the settings. Have channel EQ on. So in the chorus, we are adding a third layer for bass. I use the same bass pad as in pre-chorus. The drums stay the same. Then I added a downlifter. And another one. So then between chorus and verse, we have this little break where I automate the bass. Here the kickstart turns on and single EQ filter opens up. The same thing is happening with both downlifters. Further into verse, I'm adding a sweep. So for the second pre-chorus, we have a bass pad. We have chords with kickstart automation. For the drums, we're adding a tom and we're also cutting highs from the snare. We also have this synth lead. So for this, I used Serum and Alchemy. Both synthesizers are going through synths bus with some reverb and kickstart. And the pre-chorus ends with downlifter with slowdown effect. Hello. 
and so for the last course we're only adding this bell from alchemy with some reverb and a second layer for hats 